Samsung is back with the Galaxy M30s. After 7 months following the M30 with some huge upgrades, the biggest being the presence of a 6000 mAh battery, a first in this price range, which is a full 1000 mAh more than the M30. But how will the Samsung Galaxy M30s perform in the tests, especially after the recent failures of the plastic A series and M series lineup? Also confidence levels are obviously pretty low since the last M series device tested on the channel, the Galaxy M20 had also failed. Apart from the 6000 mAh battery, the next big upgrade of the Galaxy M30s is the 48 megapixel camera compared to 13 megapixels on the M30. Though both phones retain the Dolby Atmos sound feature. As far as looks and design go, it may not have the attractive light reflecting back like Xiaomi and Realme devices, but at least it has a gradient blue to green design on its ordinary plastic back. Even though it has a humongous 6000 mAh battery, it weighs in at just 188 grams, which is pretty similar to most other devices. And contrary to expectations, it does not have a heavy in hand feel and seems to be doing okay in my usual trial bend, though with a bit of flex. Before starting with the scratch test, a quick word for you potential buyers deciding to buy the Galaxy M30s about the heavy gaming performance of the 10 nanometer Exynos 9611 coupled with the Mali G72 GPU. Even though it does not have an Antutu score as high as say a Snapdragon 712 on the Realme XT and scores even lower than the Snapdragon 665, it still manages to default at high graphics in PUBG. And as you can see, the performance is pretty smooth enough even for moderate to heavy gamers. Starting the scratch test on the Galaxy M30s to know the quality of its unknown tempered glass production with common items found in pockets and a heavy duty box cutter. Most budget Oppo, Vivo and Realme devices comes with a pre-applied plastic screen protector used to hide poor quality glass production with no olephobic coating and are not able to handle the blade abuse with ugly scratch marks. Whereas higher quality glasses found on flagships or even basic corning glass found on Redmi devices are easily able to survive without any major scratches. Samsung have mostly used good quality tempered glass even on the budget devices and is the same with the Galaxy M30s and passes my scratch test. Now moving on to the sound test to check out the audio quality of the bottom firing excellent speakers.
The sound quality is pretty good in terms of clarity and high treble, though it may not be as loud as Realme or Redmi devices. Not every device is able to survive the drop test even with production, like the recently failed Realme 5 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. So will the AMOLED display be able to survive the hard drops? Starting the practical drop test on hard flow with a slightly defective case and an ordinary tempered glass. Face down drop from pocket height has managed to break the glass production at the bottom right due to the case which is loose and defective at that end. Now for the 7 drop this time from 6 feet head height. Even after 12 hard drops with a defective case, the AMOLED display, plastic body and back camera on the Galaxy M30s did not suffer any physical or internal damage and passes my drop test. Now moving on to fun stuff with value, the bend test. Let's check out the structural strength of the Galaxy M30s and see if the plastic form factor suffers from any weakness or not. After the first bend, the M30S suffers from a bit of flex and things seems to be okay. But after the second bend, things start to gradually go downhill, starting with a touch getting somewhat unresponsive and a few light cracks across the screen. And by this point, the M30S had also lost its ability to power off or restart. After the third and final bend, the touchscreen was almost totally unresponsive, after which the display eventually went blank and never came back on. In comparison, the budget devices of Realme and Xiaomi with plastic or glass designs have done much better than the Galaxy M30s, which badly fails my bend test. <laughs> 